Yo, what's good? Cam Crew, it's your homeboy Cam Quarter Banks, and welcome back to the channel. Now, today we're doing something real chill, but it's at the same time, it's something that's fun and it's helpful at the same time whenever it goes for you online shopping. So, I'm about to show y'all my big wish list. I'm about to show y'all things that I am looking forward to purchasing in the future instead of just waiting to show y'all on a video. So, with that being said, let's just jump right into it. Y'all know how we do it. Roll that camera! What's good, Cam Crew? It's your homeboy, Cam Quarter Banks. Welcome back to the channel, man. What's good, Cam Crew? This is your first time joining in on my channel, man. And if you are interested in streetwear fashion, sneaker content, men's web fashion, and you are interested in lifestyle fashion tips and more, I want you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, notification bell, hit that like button, and drop a comment down below and let me know you're a part of the tribe. Today, I'm gonna show you all what my wish list is. I am really big on this wish list because these are pieces that I've been wanting for a while and I just keep an eye on them to see like when these prices drop now the tool that i'm using is called karma no i'm not sponsored by them at all i am not sponsored i will say that again i am not sponsored this is a tool that i like to use for couponing when it comes to my clothes you find pieces and you find coupon codes or what you could do is set up your profile to find these pieces for you and then you go monitor them so whether it's 25 percent off 30 percent off 40 percent off whatever it may be you'll be able to keep an eye on it and you get notified when those prices drop and when they are in now in your budget range or if they're out of stock, you will know when they come back in stock and that way you could then buy those pieces. All right, y'all, so for the first piece that I have, it's actually four pieces that I have saved up on this page. It's by a company called Let's Do Better NYC and this is a black owned brand and they are fire when it comes to like their tees. They have different slogans, different wording, different phrases, different uh, terms and things that we have, uh, a lot of our leaders have said in the past. A lot of quotes, really good quotes they put actual pieces together from our culture and they put them on tees hoodies and things like that and i think it's just fire because it's a way for us to exploit the things we think we feel so with my pieces when i find something it's always gonna if i'm finding something that's specifically with a tee if it's gonna be a t-shirt or a hoodie or something it's gonna be a way for me to show how i feel or i'm speaking something into the air and i want people to see what i'm trying to say so uh, with this brand, I'm looking for a T. It's called uh, What is Fourth of July? I think that is fire. So on a T, it says What to a Slave is Fourth of July. And that was quoted by Frederick Douglass in 1852. I think that's absolutely fire. That's something that I will wear on Juneteenth. I can't wait. So hopefully by the time I do buy this tee, it's only $55, but hopefully by the time I do buy this tee, it'll still be in stock for me. So yeah, that's one of my main pieces that I'm really trying to get that I'm really excited about. All right, next up is by Let's Do Better again. It's the Let's Do Better logo shorts. They have this old school mesh shorts and I've been looking for mesh shorts like this for a long time. I would even buy them from Walmart or Target if they had them, but they just don't have the right fitting or anything like that. They have the right type of mesh that I've been looking for. It's like that old school retrograde basketball shorts that everybody was wearing back then and it's like the perfect cut. Plus it is green. I can't find green shorts like this nowhere. So for them to have this is absolutely fire. So yes, I'm gonna buy this actually today. All right y'all, next up is a piece, it's an accessory. Now, I told y'all before, I don't really buy a lot of high-end designer pieces unless it's something that I could wear repeatedly. What it is, is a Fendi silver tone ring. I'm, I'm really excited for having a ring like this. It's something, it's like a stagnant ring. It's something really small, but it pops out at the same time. It's a, a Fendi ring that I've been wanting for a while, but I've been keeping my eye on it to see if like the price will drop. So far, it has dropped. It dropped from $500 to $450 and then went from $450 to $135 and they actually have it in my size. So I don't know when I'm actually gonna buy it, but still, that's something that's on my wish list. And when I do get it, you all will know exactly when I get this, all right? All right, now going back into my profile and looking for more stuff that's like really popular to me right now that I really want is another piece. It's the Fear of God Essentials hoodie. This showed me that it was back in stock. This is what I mean that it's good for you to have karma because at one point in time it was sold out but this lets me know on the website if i was to go to mr porter right now mr porter shows that in my size that it is now in stock and i could go and buy this right now um i'm not gonna buy this right now because i was able to get the sweatshirt but the hoodie was fire i really wish i could buy this but it's just not something that it make me punch to make it make me hit 
buy right now. I just keep that in my wish list for a time for like later on in the future to see if it come around. But um, right now, I do not want to hit the buy button. But like I said, this is something good for a lot of people to know. Like when something is coming back in stock, that's why it's good for you to have Karma. And it sends multiple notifications to you just so you can keep up with it. All right, next up is my Dark Martins. On the list is two pair of Dark Martins that I've been wanting. I've been wanting it for a long time. Whether it's winter, summer, spring, or fall, I've been wanting some Doc Martens for a while. I wanted the 1460 smooth leather boots, the high boots. I think those are fire. Like I will wear something whether I'm dressing it up, dressing it down. I think this is something that I'm really interested in. I don't always have to be in sneakers, and this is one of the pieces that I will wear if I'm not wearing sneakers. The next piece that's in the Doc Martin collection is the tassel lace shoe. That's something I've been really wanting, and as soon as these, I don't know why, but they rose in popularity out of nowhere. I've been trying to get them for the the longest now I could go and get tassel shoes from other different stores but these are the specific ones I want I'll be fire with it with the pieces that I'm looking thinking of in my mind like what I could do with those shoes I would be really excited to have those shoes and they both going for 150 uh yeah both of them are available right now so who's to say if I might get them right now but this deal again is just my wish list all right y'all now scrolling down I'm more so into accessories you'll see a lot of accessories in my profile but accessories I will make the clothes pop right so this next piece is some some sunglasses and they are by Off-White. So Virgil created these glasses before he passed away and I always wanted them. These are super fire to me. Right now they are going for $300. These are the Author Square Frame sunglasses. So basically I tried going on the website but the website they are sold out completely. So what I'm going to do is go on StockX and I've been watching the price and they've been dropping slowly but surely. When it gets to the price that I want to it continues to let me know but I like this marble look. I, I've always seen a lot of people with like black frames but I'm the type to kind of rock the boat a little bit. So I wanted to get these marble frames. That's a vibe. So I like those author frames. I've been wanting them for a while. So when that time does come, I'm going to get them. And I've been wanting that logo on the side. A lot of his glasses that's available now, either they are too big for me or they are like small frames like the author size, but they don't have the actual off-white logo. They'll just have the word off-white. I want the actual cross crossing arrows. I think that's fire. All right, y'all. Now let's jump into some sweatshirts and cardigans and things like that because I wanted to show y'all a brand that y'all probably haven't heard of. I don't know if y'all have, but Alfred Eden, I think this is a fire brand. I have about four pieces that's on here that they have. The first one is their varsity jacket that they have, their bone varsity jacket, fire. It's now going for $89 when at first it was going for over like $150. And the next one that they have is the sunrise or sunset. I think that's fire. It looked like the Rocky Mountains, like you in the Colorado Rockies or something like that. But it looks fire. It looks something that not a lot of people wear. Uh, I like the sweatshirt look. It looks really heavy. It looks a little bit vintage and it looks like it, it looks oversized and the price dropped from $100 to $59. So as the seasons move forward, of course, prices drop. So this is something that I will grab to keep later on in the future. So while everybody else is wearing all their popular things, I'll pull out something that's old that people haven't seen in a while and then hit them with this. This will be fire. All right, y'all. My next piece is the Jackie Muse bucket hat. That's something that's fire. I think it has the perfect fitting of a bucket hat. Like I've been seeing a lot of people with the overexposed, oversized bucket hat, ones that's too tiny and don't fit on their head. But when you find a right bucket hat, like it has the right fitting, like it has the right brim, it has the right crowning on it. I think the Jackie Muse bucket hat is fire. So that's something I've been holding off for. It's going for $100 and usually my hats are like $45 to $50 or something like that, which I am cool with. But when it gets to that $100 price, it's like, yeah, this kind of, woo in the pocket for a hat that I'm not going to wear every day. But again, it's quality over quantity. So in this case, if I was to buy one, I just buy this and then keep that around for a while. Wear it a couple of times, you know, when it's time for me to style out. But yeah, this is something that I'm really looking forward to buying. So my next piece is more, is more sweatshirts, more cardigans and everything like that. So I don't know if you all heard about this brand, but it's called Studio Nicholson. It's a very high end, very expensive type of brand, but I do love their quality pieces. And it's a blue cardigan. I've always wanted a blue cardigan full out royal blue cardigan. This is something I've always looked around for and it just didn't have the right type of fitting. Either it was too big, it was too snug of a fit. I'm looking for something that's just right for me, what I actually want, especially for my body type. Uh, so I want the perfect fit and I think I found the right one. Only thing is, it's going for $400. Um, but yeah, for $400, man, that's too high for my blood. So I'm watching to see if this drops. All right, y'all, and I'm gonna show y'all my last piece because I can't tell y'all everything that's in my pal because I don't want y'all going out there 
that and taking it and grabbing it, man. I'm just playing. But now, nah, uh, yeah, my last piece is something that I haven't talked to y'all about in a while, and that's some denim jeans. Y'all done seen denim jackets, denim shirts, and denim shackets and things like that. But I have some denim jeans that I've been looking at that's actually pretty fire. It's kind of like a straight fit, but just a little bit wider, so it's more of a relaxed fit. This is perfect. It's on Nudie Jeans Co. Uh, these going for $139. Uh, yeah, that's pretty expensive for some jeans, but these are jeans that will wear and tear over time. You want them to start to have their wear. But these here are very sturdy, stiff denim. Um, so as you get wear and tear on it, it's better for your jeans to actually have the wear with these type of jeans that they have. All right, y'all, that wraps it up for me. Hopefully y'all checked out some pieces that y'all saw that y'all thought was fire and it might spark an idea in y'all mind for later on in the future. Or maybe y'all wanna go do some shopping now. Or like I said, if you haven't been on Karma website, I want you to go ahead on there. You can store items on there and see when they drop price like 25% off 30, 45 and everything like that. You'll be able to see when they start to discount the price of those clothing items. And you'll be able to find new type of clothing stores that fit to your style and some that might not fit to your style and they just might be something different that you wanna give a try on. Plus you get couponing on the clothes that you have shopped for. So it doesn't mean you have to purchase these items right now. Karma is a way that you could just store them out, make a wish list. Sometimes you just wanna see it before you buy it instead of impulse buying and then blow a hole in your pocket. Let me know if y'all like my piece down below. Drop those comments down below to let me know if y'all enjoy them. Y'all wanna see more of my wish list and later on in the future what I get for the summertime and things like that but uh yeah I'm about to get up out of here man I appreciate y'all joining me today I'm gonna get up out of here I'm gonna catch up with y'all next time I'm out I'm gone I'll holler at y'all peace